The anti-aging continues with the world's biggest, biggest lungs, and you will not believe how large they are. I know how to keep the young son. Up next, the world's only walk through lungs. Air comes down and splits into the right and the left lung. How to protect them and ward off disease. The pulmonary embolism, when a blood clot travels to your lung, this is what lung cancer looks like. That's coming up. Well, I bet you can guess what organ we are talking about today. It's your lungs. They're your best defense against toxins and germs, and today, I'm going to show you how to protect them and to ward off disease. So who's going to help me? Jessica from Long Island volunteer. Jessica, come join me, please. How are you? How are you doing, Jessica? you ever think much about the health of your lungs? Absolutely. My mom was a smoker, and oh. as many people did back then, and so she smoked when she was pregnant with me, and uh, I think that definitely had a contributing factor. I had very bad asthma as a child. I remember taking the inhaler and feeling that tightness in the chest, so the lung health is very important to and me. And how are you now? I outgrew my asthma, so I'm very good. happy about that. Good, good, good. Okay, come on. This All is right. a good show for you. We're going to talk about the lungs. Most people don't think very much about their lungs. Oh, they are spectacular. They're magical if you really understand them. And you're going to be, for the very first time, able to walk through a lung on our set. Okay? I'll it's, be it's, first. It's magical. <laughs> Let's go through the three things that can damage your lungs and how to protect them. The first thing is all about the air that you breathe in. So I've got an animation here to show you why this is so important. And especially in Long Island where there's a lot of traffic, if you're driving along and you have fumes from cars around you coming up and your windows oh, are yeah. open, they get into your lungs. Let's see what happens when they get into your lungs. As you inhale them, they go through the upper respiratory tract, into the trachea, and in the lungs, which are around the heart, you've got these very delicate fibers. They're called cilia, and there's mucus on the little things that he absorb. Those are the, the toxins alike. They will damage those cilia. The cilia get squished, and when they get squeezed, that creamy material, that mucus on top of them, begins to accumulate. It squeezes off the airway, and that forms these things called alveoli. These air sacs begin to sprout and get larger, and then watch what happens. As you get big enough and their bra barriers break down, they invade the surrounding tissues and that gives rise to these little outpouchings. You know what that's called? No, what? Emphysema. Now, the same toxins that cause emphysema are often responsible for lung cancer, which is why I want you to put this on your radar screen. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do now is for the first time ever give you a chance to walk through a lung on our set. Are okay. you excited? I'm very excited. All right, we'll take a little tour through the lung. Jessica, so as you enter the lung here, you first see that on the inside of the lung, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, yeah. All right? So come through here. I'll point out first this sort of beige material here. This is the trachea. That's where the air comes down and splits into the right and the left lung. Right? And then on top of it is a blood vessel. See that blue blood vessel there? All right? This blue blood vessel is where the blood is coming into the lungs. It's blue because there's no oxygen in it. The lungs will clean this blue blood, make it red, by putting oxygen and then shunt it to the rest of the body. Look what happened over here. There's a blockage here. It's squished. It's strangled. And because it's squished, there's no blood going here. This is what happens in a pulmonary embolism, when a blood clot travels to your lung from your legs. Okay. Okay. Now, let me walk you around here. As you leave the magical insides of the lung, <laughs> we notice something that's often found on the outside of the lungs. Right there. Do you see that? It's like a big caterpillar. Right. Now, this it looks like a caterpillar, doesn't it? It's an outpouching. This is what lung cancer looks like. Wow. Notice it's invading the surrounding tissue. It's just discoloring it. It's made up of different kinds of material. When you push it, and I've done this kind of surgery in the operating room, uh, it's hard. It's angry. It's frustrated. And it's, because it's toxic, it actually destroys the surrounding tissue. Right now, common causes of lung cancer include cigarette smoking, which you all know about. Yep. But secondhand smoking is a big issue for us as, as well. So it ought to be avoided at all costs. Highway pollution also a problem. And if you've got a beautiful home with radon in it, which is the second leading cause of lung cancer, right, you want to take care of that. So how do you know if you have radon in the basement? A $10 kit. I mean, how affordable is that? Ten bucks, you know if you've it's got worth. radon in the basement, and then take the appropriate measures to take care of it. According to the EPA, this is this, one in 15 homes has high levels of radon gas. One in 15 homes. Wow. Okay? Now, let me ask you a question. Sure. How many sick days did you have last year? I'm a pretty healthy person, so maybe one. Good. So you have a strong immune system. Yes, I do. That's good because the second reason that I want to talk to you about lungs is because if you have a weak immune system, which you don't have, it can lead to pneumonia. And pneumonia is a big problem for a lot of folks. You know what? It looks like this. See that little beige area? Now, unlike the cancer, which was invading, this actually just sort of lays on top of the lungs. But it involves huge areas at once, and actually you can bleed into pneumonia, you can get dead areas as well, necrotic areas that start to rot. The flu happens to weaken your lungs a lot. 
and by weakening it, it allows bacteria to invade it like this has, and so that can lead to pneumonia as well. It's actually a very common cause. It's why I'm always asking folks to get the flu shot, uh, but, but if you're over, a little over age 65, you ought to also get a shot for pneumonia, which okay. is pretty effective. Okay, the third way, the third way that we can damage your lungs is all about inflammation, and it has to do with asthma. Yes. Eight percent of the population have asthma. You had asthma. Let me show you what asthma affects our lungs. Okay. We come back in here. And this is the bronchus. This is where the air comes, okay. right? Which I showed you earlier. And if you look at the inside of a bronchus, you often get this little red area here. Can you see that? Yeah. And then the yellow in the inside of that. This is mucus that accumulates, and the spasm that happens squeezes the and you air. You get that tightness in your chest, like a heaviness almost. Exactly. The air gets stuck inside of you. You can't get rid of it. Now, what triggers asthma? There are lots of things that will cause this. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a, a big, huge rabbit named Floppy Ears, and he is, he's outside. You're good. But uh, if I'm around him too long, I start wheezing. It starts triggers my asthma. Right, so rabbits are, you know, they, they, they classically do chemicals from cleaning products, okay. which you often you're not even aware of. Aware of it. you got to pay true. attention to. And you have to be aware of talk to strong smells. They smell good because there are chemicals usually involved there. And right. finally, cold weather. And that's one of the reasons I keep telling people to eat apples, because the apples have flavonoids in them. And I giving apples. Them, good. <laughs> and the flavonoids will help give you some of that support to avoid the asthma and spastic attacks. But you know, if you overcame asthma as a child, you learned a lot of these lessons. You actually know more about lungs than most people on the planet. No. So I'm proud of you for overcoming it. Thank you. Okay. Feel good. Feel good. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Guys. All right. I want to thank Mega Lungs for bringing these wonderful lungs to life. I love this exhibit. Up next, I'm going to show you how to eat a healthy breakfast at your favorite fast food restaurant. You heard me right. Fast food that won't kill your diet.